Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faik. I am representative from Dynamic Tech Sendiran Berhad. So today I would like to present our product which is Sip Dispenser Shower. So we move to the first part which is company background. Uh, the Dynamic Tech Sendiran Berhad was established in 2018. We are a private limited company. We focusing more on in agricultural activities. We develop and manufacture tools for gardening purpose. So, in terms of history, we achieved Malaysia Agricultural Awards in Best Tools for Gardening. So, in terms of technology, we possess latest machinery and software, which are CNC milling, lathe, and katya. Uh, and lastly, we are located in Bandar Baru Bangi, Selangor. So, uh, for this part, is, which is innovation for sustainability, the first point is uh, innovation is crucial for growth and survive in business. Secondly, is to compete with other competitors in business. And lastly, is to gain profits and generate company revenues. So that's all from me. Thank you. I would like to pass to the next presenter. Thank you for the explanation. Next, I'm going to explain about background of existing product. The figure shows that the shovel will have a few other important components. The components are handle, shaft, socket, step, lid, and scope. These components interact with each other in order to deliver whatever task the user want to do, especially for hole digging purpose. A shovel is a tool for digging, lifting, and moving bulk materials such as soil, coal, growth, snow, sand, or ore. Most shovels are a hand tool consisting of a broke, a broke blade fixed to a medium length handle. Shovel blades are usually made of sheet steel or hard plastic and are very strong. Shovel handles are usually made of wood, especially specific varieties such as ash or maple, or glass reinforced plastic, or known as fiberglass. A shovel blade made of Sheets still usually have a folded seam or hem at the back to make a socket for the handle. The handles are usually revet in place. This design can all be easily mass produced. Hand shovels have been adapted for many different tasks and environment. They can be optimized for a single task or designed as crossover or compromise multitasker. They are very useful in agriculture. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now I will present on my part which is problem statement of this invention. Um, okay, the first one is the shovel is lack of its ergonomic. People are preferred to use a digging tool without having a serious back pain. Um, okay, so the first point is due to the design was made without considering the impacts of the users when using it to dig a hole. And this can lead to a serious back pain if the digging operation is conducted wrongly in terms of body postures and force applied by the user to the tool itself. Um, second problem statement is the shovel takes more time when digging a hole or a tree. People are preferred to dig with less time. This, the first point for this problem statement is using a shovel is it takes more time due to its design that requires the user make a lot of movements. And this uh, cannot be seen if it, it just to dig a hole but it will be obvious if dig a huge number of holes. Okay, for the is why does the shovel needs to be innovated? Okay, so the first is uh, it's, it needs to be innovated because it can change the culture of user, which is their tradition in gardening. The first point of this is previous method to sowing the seed, the user needs to dig in the sand first by using the shovel before putting their seed. And next point is the this innovated product it will make ease for user because it automatically dispenses from the shovel. It also will reduce time to use it while gardening. Second uh, point for this is part of infrastructure which refers to company strategy. First point is for this part is uh, company need to produce a product that will stay relevant in market so that it can create a crucial so that um, crucial to create a high level product vision and last is able to take a more strategic approach to product development in order to ensure that this company can survive its business. And that's all for my part. Thank you. Um, I will give. I will pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Riaz Muhammad. I will present about the type of innovation and product classification. The first type of innovation that is related to this innovation is incremental management. It is considered as incremental management because it is an innovation that is being improved on the design of the existing component. The second type of innovation that is related to the innovation is disruptive management. With that being said, because this innovation replaces the old technology, 
for product classification, this shovel is categorized under improvement plus new in the market because the one that already exists doesn't have this type of function. The first improvement that apply is seed dispenser function. Next, shovel categorized categorized under the new to the market. It is because the existing product in this market doesn't have this kind of function that apply to the shovel. This seed, this seed dispenser shovel that has been designed is new to the market. That's all from me. Thank you. I will pass to Anik Danish. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Anik Danish. Uh, for my part, I will present about our product innovation which is seed dispenser shovel. Uh, the purpose of this innovation is to reduce time and energy consumed during gardening. Uh, secondly, is to increase the productivity for agriculture sectors. Uh, for the originality, uh, big upgrades were made from the previous shovel as it is an electrical power shovel. Uh, it also a multi-purpose product as it combines a lot of process and easy to use for all type of people. Uh, this product has latest IR 4.0 technology element uh, which include autonomous robot to help the movement of the shovel. Other than that, we do some 3D printing procedure for the hand grid part which is it have a good finishing quality. Uh, next is on, is on how to use the seat dispenser shovel. Uh, first, to apply small force to the hole. Second, push recharge button to adjust the scoop until the desired hole's length. Uh, third, lift the scoop and soil. Uh, fourth, push the seat release button to plant the seat. And finally, release the taken soil back into the hole. Okay, for this product, uh, we expect to sell it uh, for 1,400 ringgit. Uh, we take 40% profit for this innovation based on the material and labor used to manufacture this product. I think that all for me. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation. Hi, uh, my name is Ahmad Fizril and for my part, we're going to talk about target market. Uh, fundamentally, uh, uh, marketing refers to activities a company undertakes to promote the buying or selling of a, a product. The four pieces of uh, marketing are the key factors that are involved in this part. They are product, price, place, and promotion. So in order to ensure that uh, we choose the right target market, we have done our research and studies, and we chose agriculture companies, farmers, housewives, and free-time gardeners. All right, what are the benefits and values to the customers? Firstly, we provide warranties for our product. Secondly, the extra features added which can dispense the seed into the ground with just one uh, button and be able to transfer soil and dig grounds. This will encourage the customers because of its efficiency and productivity. Thirdly, our company has a customer loyalty program in place to reward our long-term clients with better rates and provide coupons to first-time clients. Lastly, uh, we seek a partnerships with organizations such as agriculture companies, farmers, housewives, and free-time gardeners and offer exclusive uh, pricing options based on the quantities. That's all from me. Thank you.